Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining self-practice 1.3, patterns and sequences. Let's get to it. So here we have 4, 12, 36, 108, 324. Okay, so here we can see from 4 to 12 times 3. 12 to 36 times 3. 36, 208 times 3, and the next is also times 3. So here we say that the pattern is multiply the number before by 3. Next, 256, 128, 64, 32, and 16. So here we can see that the number is being halved. So here we divide by 2. Here is also divide by 2, divide by 2. And here we have divide by 2, which means the pattern is divide the previous number by 2. Determine the pattern for the number sequences below using algebraic expressions. 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay, here we have 2 times 2, that will give us 4. 4 times 2, that will give us 8. 8 times 2, that will give us 16. Tn equals to 2n, where n is 1, 2, 4 and 8. When n is 2, we have 4. When n is 4, we have 8. When, when n is 8, we have 16. So here we have 2, 4, 8 and 16. B, 5, 8, 11 and 14. So between these numbers, we have plus 3, plus 3 and plus 3, which means we'll take the first number, 5 equals to 5 plus 3. And because this is the first number, first, second, third, and fourth, we'll use this n minus 1. So 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So here we have 5 equals to 5 plus 3 times 0 will make it 0, which means 5 equals to 5. Next, we have 8 equals to the first number 5 plus 3 times 1. Then 11 equals to 5 plus 3 times 2. And 14 equals to 5 plus 3 times 3. So here we can see the pattern that Tn equals to 5 plus 3 n minus 1, 3, 6, 9, and 12, plus 3, plus 3, and plus 3, equals to 3, plus 3 times 0. We will always start with 0, okay, because it is n minus 1. So if, it, if n is the first number, a 1, that means we have, take, we have to take 1 minus 1, n minus 1. So that will give us 0 here. And then we have 6 equals to 3 plus 3 times 1. 9 is 3 plus 3 and 2. 12 is 3 plus 3 and 3. So here we can see the pattern that says Tn equals to 3 plus 3 n minus 1. Lastly, we have D. 3, 1, negative 1 and negative 3. So in between here, we have negative 2, negative 2, and negative 2, which means that gives us a pattern of 3 equals to 3 plus negative 2 and 0. 1 is 3 plus negative 2 and 1. Negative 1 is 3 plus negative 2 and 2. And lastly, negative 3 is 3 plus negative 2 and 3. So here we can see the pattern Tn 
equals to 3 plus negative 2 and minus 1. Negative 3, 5 and 13. Okay, so in between here, we can see the pattern is plus 8 and here is also plus 8. So for our first term, we have negative 3 equals to negative 3 plus 8 and 0. 0 because this is the first term, so n minus 1 gives us 0. Next, we have 5 equals to negative 3 plus 8 times 1. 1 then 13 equals to negative 3 plus 8 and 2. So here we have the pattern where Tn equals to negative 3 plus 8 and minus 1. So for the seventh term here, we have T7 equals to negative 3 plus 8. N minus 1 gives us 6 because 7 minus 1. So here we have negative 3 plus 48 and that will give us 45. And for the 11th term, we have T11, so negative 3 plus 8. N minus 1, which means 11 minus 1, will give us 10. Negative 3 plus 8t will give us 77. Same thing for b, we have 4, 5.5 and 7. So in between here, you can see plus 1.5 and here is also plus 1.5. So let's do the first term. 4 equals to 4 plus 1.5 and 0. Second term, we have 5 equals to 4 plus 1.5 and 1. And the third term will be 7 equals to 4 plus 1.5 and 2. So here we can see the pattern where Tn equals to 4 plus 1.5 and minus 1. And that gives us for the second seventh term, for the seventh term, we have T7, 4 plus 1.5, 6. So here that gives us 4 plus 9, 13. For the 11th term, we have T11 equals to 4 plus 1.5 and 10. So here we have 4 plus 15, that will give us 19. And lastly, for C, we have negative 3.7, negative 4.3, and negative 4.9. So here you can see in between here is negative 0.6, and here is also negative 0.6. We have negative 3.7 equals to the first term, plus the difference, which is negative 0.6 times 0. For the second term, we have negative... 4.3, negative 3.7 plus negative 0.6, this one will be 1. Then for the third term, we have negative 4.9. And here will be 2. So here we can see the pattern where Tn equals to negative 3.7 plus negative 0.6 and minus 1. So for the seventh term, we have T7 equals to negative 3.7 plus negative 0 0.6 and 6. So here we have negative 7.3. And for the eleventh term, we have T11, negative 3.7 plus negative 0 0.6 and 10. So that gives us negative 9.7. Lastly, for number four, the table below shows the timetable for buses traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Pulau Pinang. Based on the table above, answer the following questions. Calculate the interval between departure time of one bus and the next bus. Okay, so for number four A, here we have bus C minus bus B, that will be 9 a.m. 
minus 8.30 a.m. So we have 30 minutes from bus B to bus A. We have 8.30 minus 8 o'clock. That will also give us 30 minutes. Okay, so next for B. What time does bus E leave? Okay, so here we have T equals to 8 o'clock plus 30 minutes times 1. Which means for T5, we have 8 o'clock plus 30 minutes times 4. Because this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth term, right? So this one is N equals to 5. In this bracket here, will be 4 because N minus 1. So this will give us 8, 8 o'clock plus 120 minutes, which means 10 a.m. And lastly for C, if the bus leaves at 10 a.m. and the journey is 5 hours, means they will reach at 10 a.m. Plus five hours and that will give us 3 p.m. And that's all for 1.3.